Owens and a teacher from Jim Hill Middle School. Teachers aren't the only ones wanting to stay safe and healthy this upcoming school year. The students they're instructing also have some concerns as the first day of classes comes closer. KX News reporter Robert Sir continues our team coverage with the view from the other side of the desk. Just like the NFL or MLB draft, school leaders across North Dakota are on the clock. Every second that passes is a second closer to students walking back into the building during a global pandemic. To say the responsibility placed on these individuals is Herculean is an understatement as every parent wants their child to remain healthy. So for school officials that may be watching this story, I reached out to your students to see what their worries and concerns are and what they would like to see when they walk back into the classroom next month. For Kaz Schindler, a soon-to-be senior at UMary, he'd love to keep everyone in a bubble on campus, but says that's unrealistic. I feel at the same time, you have to realize that the students are all adults. They all have their own lives. Things come up. You can't restrict them from traveling. So I would do what I can to keep them on campus. But at the end of the day, it's up to them whether or not they want to go out and do something. Now, students I talked with told me they obviously want to feel safe while they're in the classroom, but they also want to feel safe throughout the entire school day. And that includes the bus ride to and from school while they're eating lunch, having recess, and even in the gymnasium. One of those is Demi Black, an incoming freshman at St. Mary's High School. She hopes officials make a decision and stick to it but does not want a hybrid mix of in-class and online learning. I think it'd be hard for teachers to upload all their assignments online and then do them in class too. And like the assignments, and they would have to take two test days for the kids online and then the kids in school. I just feel like that'd be a lot more work than just going all online or all in school. High school is hard enough on an adolescent before you toss in a global pandemic. And while Demi suggested teachers offer masks for students to wear, legacy freshman Connor Grabo, who didn't want his face on camera, says mask shaming could run rampant in the hallways. Knowing the kids in my grade, they would, if someone, if someone took that, they would get made fun of for the next six months and maybe even through the next year. They're like, hey, remember when Jimmy took a mask? One thing we do know is school leaders have a lot of decisions to make and limited time to make them before the bell rings. Reporting for KX News in Bismarck, I'm Robert Sir. And all three students we spoke with say they have no idea how to keep students like kindergartners and first graders socially distant just because of how naturally curious they are. We'll have one last look at your